Hey guys, it's uh, some ungodly hour of the morning, it's probably gone way gone two o'clock now. I just want to do a vlog before I went to bed. <laughs> I've been busy over the last sort of seven days or so, it's now the 8th of February. At like, I don't know, quarter past two in the morning, something like that. I'm not near a clock at the minute, the computer's off. <sighs> I even get me started on computers because my hard drive decided to die. So I spent most of, well, yesterday sorting out that. I had to go and dig another hard drive up. Um, 320 gig, reinstall Windows 10, blah blah blah. And then found out the intermittent click I could hear coming from this thing was not the hard drive I thought it was because I thought it was I got three in there and I thought it was the one in the middle so I'd had it unplugged because it had stopped no it was the fan on the video card that had failed and it was just just clicking just click it wasn't rotating it was just click like it was trying to start and couldn't so I unplugged it because it was you know a little cable plugged into the actual video card itself unplugged it Found a smallish one in my box of fans, screwed that to it and plugged that to the motherboard, to one of the fan headers on the motherboard. That might explain why I've actually had some graphics issues. I've been trying to play a simple game like My Summer Car and it would just go really, really slow. The graphics and everything would just slow right down. Probably because the video card was getting too hot. <laughs> so, um, as far as I know, it's fixed. I've got to reinstall all of that. And I've lost the game save, so I'm not happy with that. So, but the only thing I'm not happy with... There's a few other files that I've lost when the hard drive shit the bed, but... It's nothing important. Really, the game save isn't important, because I hadn't really got that far anyway. I've driven the van to the shop in the game, and that was it. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so I've started to bookmark everything again. No, Firefox wasn't synced, so I couldn't sign in and just have my bookmarks there ready. I've done that now. I have signed up for a Firefox account and whatnot and sync. So if it does it again, I just install Firefox, sign in, boom, bookmarks. Because I'm getting pissed off, I keep doing that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and now I've turned the computer off, I have thought of another couple that I've forgotten to bookmark. I'll do that tomorrow. Same with some folders, I've had to drop those back over, reinstall all the bloody programs. So I don't like doing it unless I have to. And unfortunately, I had to. <laughs> I got a 320 gig Western Digital in there. The one that failed was a Seagate. Again. Since I've been in this flat, I've actually had a number of Seagates fail over the eight, nearly nine years I've been tinkering with computers in this flat. Uh, I can't remember before that, but I've, no, I've had hard drives fail here and there. It's what they do. You know, depends if they get knocked, banged, how often they get used and whatnot. Will determine their life. I don't want to go through there yet, do I? All of that will determine its lifespan. You know, if you drop the computer, that could damage it. If you thump it in temper, that could damage it. Anyway, it did. I knew it was on its way out and it finally did and it lasted a lot longer than I thought it would actually. A lot longer, so I'm quite impressed. But I can't say Seagate drives are my favourites anymore. I'm not keen on using them. I don't trust them. I've lost trust in them. I wouldn't use them on a main computer like this. One of the old ones I've got through there that I just, you know, build together build together that I've built up that I barely use I'd, I'd use a Seagate on there but I wouldn't trust it on my main one not anymore anyway 
The other thing I have been up to for the last three or four days at least is painting. Look at this. It's all white. It'll be all white, mate. All white. I couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah, so. Paint all the framework last, like I said I would. I've actually got to get small brush so I can go around the edges a bit better. But that's done. This is done. I've still got a bit of work to do. Don't want to cut base plates to fill in this little space, so I'm going to paint it. Run down there or on this bit with some white paint because I've got shed loads left. And then, you know, paint this bit green and then that bit grey so it all matches in. Gonna have to do the same on this strip here. Because when I get the bigger base plate in there, like that big square one there, put one, two, three, four. Actually, no, that's not going to work. It's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, I need four more. It's not going to come up to this edge, so I'm going to do the same. Because these, believe it or not, they're only sheets of plastic, these blue ones. They're rare. And because they're rare, they're not cheap. <laughs> so, do not want to butcher any just to make it, you know, go right up to that edge. And if I use a slightly larger plate, or even one of these smaller ones, half size, because this is actually half the size of that, it's going to overhang too much and I don't want that because it's going to shrink my manhole and it's not actually that much of a big space for a guy like me to get into because of this which has oddly enough been with me all my life I've got good muscular legs, I've got arms, I'm not going to say muscular because I haven't <laughs> You know, I'm not a bodybuilder. All the cycling I've done over the years, I've actually got a good strong pair of legs. People might think it's fat, but I've, you know, had people come up when I've tested my muscles and poked them. And they're like, bloody hell. Yeah, tree trunk legs. I've got a really weird body build because of it. You know, I'm all strong down below. And weak as, I've got no lifting strength. I hate lifting for that reason, because I've got no strength. I really should get some... A barbell or something so I can weight lift and build up the upper body. <clears throat> but then again, where the fudge would I put it? I have got no way to put it in this place. I filled it with Lego and lamps and technology and crap. <laughs> right, are we done in here now? Yeah, I've still got a bit of painting to do as I said. There's some... Oh, no we haven't. The other thing I've done on these tables, look, that framework is going to eventually have a piece of ply on that. I'm going to get my stepdad to cut a bit. Um, but I've already done this end. I don't know if you'd seen in previous videos, I had a big sheet of ply sort of leaning up that end. I've trimmed that down myself because there's only a thin bit. You can do the thin bits with a Stanley knife. Just be bloody careful because they're sharp. I actually only took two blades, but I managed to trim all that up and get this board in here, so that one's ready. I just need to stick a few screws in there to stop it, you know, sliding around. I don't think it's going to slide too far, though, because it is wedged in there quite well. <clears throat> so I do the same on there. I've got some, some of the Lego stuff in the bedroom to come back in here. Because I took it out from under the tables because I had to get under there one to build the framework and two to do some painting so I didn't want to get paint over everything it was all in the way so I just took it out from there and stuck it in the bedroom for now that chair will probably live there because I've got this grey one that my brother got me uh, probably CDs laying everywhere and I don't know why Right, the bedroom. I've got another cone in the mail. <laughs> I don't know what the male man, or the male men and women think, male person, would that be the correct term? When, <laughs> when I get these wrapped up and have to deliver it, they're probably wondering what the hell it is. I think I got sent this one today. It's an older, well I believe, going by the design, it's an older JSP. I know it's JSP because it's got it written on it, but I think it's... Is there a date on it? 
Sometimes they have a date on them now. It's just got Oxford, England. It was the bloody TV on what the hell up was. No, it hasn't. It might not be that old, actually. For some reason, on the telephone number on there, they've put the, um, call, the, um, code for the UK, which is 44 plus 44. So if you're dialing from another country, that's what you would dial before you dial the actual phone number. So I'm guessing they sell worldwide, because they, they're a company that still exists and still produce. <sighs> The other thing I've been doing is playing around with bikes as well. So that's one reason there's been a lack of videos on this channel. I've just been busy. And I haven't filmed because I keep getting distracted by a friend of mine. Wanting help sorting various things out and whatnot, including a bike he's just got. <laughs> I traded a bike with him. Now I've got that one back because like, he bought this bike and he wants some parts. So he traded me the bike back and some parts. Originally he wanted to trade both bikes of his for my red full suspension bike, the Silver Fox, and I'm like, no. I actually do like that bike a lot and I'm not letting it go. I've had suspension bikes in the past that I've liked a lot and let go and I ain't doing it again. Pardon me. But uh, last week he had a friend getting rid of some old bikes, so he bought them to me. They were mostly frames, or well, mostly a frame. You know, there was this one and a full suspension bike that I wouldn't mind building up, but uh, I don't have the parts for that at the minute because the front suspension forks have seized and I can't get the handlebars out, so I'm gonna have to destroy the stem. <sighs> But the stem is shit anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter and I've got spares and this was the easiest one and best one to do out of the two anyway. So I threw the wheels in. The gears just needed some slight adjusting with the cables. And I'm guessing because the gears didn't work properly is the reason why they screwed these screws in a such a position so this was stuck in middle gear. Because um, there's a lot of slack on both gear cables. All they actually had to do was put the front in first, put the rear in six, because it's an 18 speed, and just undo the cable clamp and just pull the cable tight. That's all they had to do. That's all I did. I just tweaked the screws and I had to adjust the screws on there, and that's it. It's worked ever since. Changed the V brakes. For some reason, these ones, or the original ones, were just stubs because they'd cut the original ones right across here. No idea why. So I had to change that one and the brake lever for the front because that had broken. Um, which meant I had odd brakes because I had black on the rear. But I found another pair that matched the front, so I stuck those on, so we've got two pairs. Uh, unseized the seat post and that was it. <laughs> That's all I've done really. Um, it's a bit beat up so I'm not going to sell this one. See, rather scratch. I could but I might stretch to 20 quid for that. I don't think I'd get much more. Even though it fully works and there's nothing wrong with it now. It's, it could be ridden away. But because it's not in the best of conditions, I wouldn't get a lot for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my trailer hitch on the back of that and use that for towing the trailer out front. Uh, oh, and that Rally Max I fixed, the bottom bracket on. Still going all right, but I've put that up for sale because I don't really need two of those. And uh, I'm actually lacking room. I've had someone I know been bugging me for months trying to sell me some bikes he's got in the shed, but I've just got nowhere to put them. That's why I just haven't got back to him, because I've got nowhere to put them. That is the problem. My shed is full. I've got that trailer out front. I've got 
two trailers around the back, one isn't mine, and another bike right up the corner. And at the moment, I've got three bikes locked up outside as well. Yeah, I really don't want any more because then I just feel like, you know, I'm taking the piss, as we say. You know, I don't want to piss the neighbours off too much. <laughs> You know, because it is a communal area and, it, you know, hundreds of bikes dotted around, doesn't look tidy. I just wish I could bung them in the shed. I've actually got four old three-speed bikes now. But I like all four, I don't really want to sell any of them. But really I should, because I don't need four. <laughs> But I don't know which ones I would sell. I love the Ellswick. It looks like an utter turd. But it rides beautifully. I love it. Um, I don't want to get rid of my stepdad's one. For obvious reasons. And I've got the old Hercules I got recently. Which actually rides nice. And it's actually a good size for me. And then I've got the French one. I think if I was going to sell any it would probably, probably be the French one to be honest. The Moto B came. Oh. Got a um, new American comedy called um, Superstore USA. I think that's what it's called. And uh, I actually quite like it. That's the wrong TV remote. Well, it's the right remote for the TV, but not for the thingy box, the satellite box, the free sat box. Oh, the remote's down there. Sod it. <sighs> Where's the time? 2.40. Uh, is there anything else I want to add? Mustn't get. I've got to go to the community shop um, at some point after I've woken up to pick up the leaflets. Another 50 that I'll do Saturday again. Because I enjoyed it last time. <clears throat> yeah, today is Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, I'm certain it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <clears throat> Good grief, am I getting that tired? I'm actually feeling knackered because I got up early. Went to bed late, got up early. Just so I get work done on that bench. So I just had the last one to assemble. Or the last framework to assemble. Why is that? I cannot see any of this. My finger is sore right above my thumb. And I have no idea what I can't see anything. It's a tiny black dot. So I don't know if I've actually got a splinter or something in there. Oh, well, that'll come out tomorrow. Right, I'm going to bugger off to bed, I think. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'm sorry it's not an interesting video and I'm not repairing anything at the minute. I really should have filmed a few more, but again, this one was just simple stuff. And there's loads of videos like it and on YouTube, so... I don't know, I mean, I can if you want. I've got other bike frame, or another bike frame that I can do. I mean, I could do a series of videos building one up my way, you know. Some people will disagree, but it'll be my way at least. I don't know. I'll have to think. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.